Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> this one, um, it's gonna be about um, whether I will survive computer science. The questions that's been going around in my head is that computer science is hard. It's a hard major. That's it's a known fact, and the dropout rates for CS are also very high, and that's also a known fact. I'm currently at a community college right now. I have three more classes left. Once I finish those three classes, I'm technically a junior, but I'll have to transfer. I have three CS classes under my belt. I did well in those classes, like I got decent grades, but the thing that makes me the most nervous is just how hard those classes were for me. It's just, I don't know, like it took me forever to get what a for loop was. I used a for loop without actually knowing what a for- <clears throat> I'm crying here guys. <clears throat> I used a for loop without actually knowing what a for loop was and you know when you have examples you're like oh, okay so in this in instance a for loop works but you're like not exactly sure why a for loop works not exactly sure why a for loop works that's exactly what i did i used it without actually knowing what it was and it wasn't until maybe this semester during my third programming class that i actually deeply deeply understood what a for loop was and you know that was a was actually a very scary moment for me because loops are actually like basic cs concept you know people get them during their first intro class and so for me to take until the third class to get what a loop was that was a for loop was that to me was very scary because i'm like oh my god if it's taking me this long to understand fundamental concepts how am i gonna survive fourth year computer science classes am i going to survive this major you know i want to pass i want to get a master's in computer science i love computer science i like <clears throat> programming but the thing is am i gonna make it am i good enough for it it's like this year i passed but i had to go to the tutor like every single day um go to my teacher's office hours every single week and so that's the only way i passed is because i put in so much extra work that was kind of scary for me that i had to you know, devote that much more time just so I could keep up. The next class I'm taking is data structures and um, assembly language, both of which are very hard classes. And I hear even data structures is like a weeder class. So it's going to be especially hard, probably way harder than the first three I took. Because I just, I feel like, am I even going to make it through this major? I'm not going to call this like a breakdown because it's not really a breakdown. I feel like I'm pretty collected and calm. I'm just like thinking of the potential things that could go wrong and which is that I won't be able to keep up because you know those are two very hard classes my goal is that if I can't keep up because I'll be taking data structures assembly language and pre-calc and I'll be working 20 hours at my internship that might be a bit much so if it turns out that I'm like I can't keep up then I think I'll just drop data structures and I'll keep assembly language do the best for you and your mental health and i don't want to pull myself through you know just you know i've done that before it's not great so this is more of like a video diary of me just questioning the difficulty of a cs major and yeah um please comment down below if you felt that way before and i would like to know what you did to make those worries go away or make them better thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video with a hopefully more uplifting topic. From my experience, the hardest course I took was data structures and algorithms. Fail two coding assignments, highest grade possible would be a B plus, fail three, a C plus, and fail four, you're not going to pass the class with the D plus. I just realized I have a big mouth. And I always knew I had big teeth. Two years of braces and six plus years of retainers. I still wear my retainer.